Here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman in Tampa, Florida. Nermeen Sheikh is in New York. We end today's show in Tampa with Amar Mohrat, a Syrian political asylee who just graduated from St. Leo University on a full scholarship. He was chosen by his classmates as this year's student speaker at commencement. So we went out to the street and we began to protest. But unlike the Tunisians, we were met by the regime's security forces with live bullets and with the arrest of the protest leaders and anyone speaking out against the Assad regime. Imagine seeing your friends getting killed in front of you. That's Amar Mohrat giving the commencement address here in Florida. He is from Homs, Syria. In 2011, he fled his homeland due to political persecution and death threats. Amar Mohrat, congratulations on your graduation, giving the commencement address. And your thoughts today and what's happening in your country. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I mean, what's going on in Syria is really hard. It's unbelievable after six years of war. You know, like, uh, people are dying every day, I mean, either by chemical weapons or other means of weapons. But we need, like, the whole international community, they need to realize that there is a dictator in the country who is the source of terror in Syria and who killed his own people and destroyed his own country. You came here as a refugee. There are no Syrian refugees allowed into the uh, United States. Let me correct States. this. I came here as an international student, and then I applied for political asylum. But yes, I mean, uh, the, new the new government stopped this program, the refugees program, unfortunately. And what does that mean? That means, like, a lot of Syrians who really were waiting for their, like, refugees program, for refugees applications to be accepted, they are not allowed to come here to the United States anymore. And that's really sad, because most of these refugees, they'll flee home because of the same terror that Americans are afraid of, because of terrorism either by Assad or other radical groups. And I mean, like, most Americans think, like, coming to the U.S. is really easy. You can just buy a ticket and come here. That's not true, you know? If you want to get a visa, like, it's really hard. And, you, and if, like, for these refugees, they've been waiting up to two years, and they've made, like, a lot of, like, agencies and, like, interviews to just come here to start their new life in a safe society where they can risk their kids, you know? So I guess, like, there's... I mean, there's... These refugees are really not here to harm this country. And I mean, I understand some Americans' concern about the security of the U.S., but at the same time, these refugees just just want to live in, like, in a free country, you know, like, in a safe society. And I'm, I hope one day, like, the government will reactivate this program and will help all these refugees. And, Ahmad, very quickly before we conclude, can you just say what the process was for you uh, to come to the United States and to uh, start studying at St. Leo University? I mean, for me, uh, when I left Syria, uh, I left Syria, I, tra I kept traveling in the Middle East for many countries. And then, uh, and then I, I, I was in Jordan. I settled down in Jordan. And, and there I was really safe and like I could, but I couldn't like continue my education so I got online and I started looking for scholarships for Syrians and that's how I found St. Leo University and I just graduated last weekend and it was a great experience and journey. Well, I want to thank you and congratulations on your graduation you so and much. being the commencement speaker here in Appreciate the United that. States. Amr Mahat, political and media activist in Humps, Syria, fled in 2011, just graduated from St. Leo University in Florida, where we broadcast on Democracy Now! On, on Saturday, he delivered the commencement address. That does it for our show. A very happy birthday to Democracy Now!'s Dennis Moynihan. I'll be speaking tonight in Atlanta as we continue our Covering the Movement's Changing America tour. Atlanta at 7 at the First Iconium Baptist Church. On Friday at 2, we'll be at Carleton College in Northfield, Minnesota. Then I'll be speaking at 6.30 at Augsburg College in Minneapolis. On Saturday, we're on to Madison at 1.30 p.m. and Chicago at 7 p.m. On Sunday, I'll be speaking in Michigan and Kalamazoo at 11, Lansing at 2, Grand Rapids at 5.30. On Monday night, I'll be speaking at Philadelphia Free Library on May 12th, Friday night, at the New School in New York City. You can check our website for all the details. I'll be at Seattle Town Hall on May 10th. That's democracynow.org. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Dina Guzder, Nermeen Sheikh, Carla Wills, Laura Gottesdiener, Sam Alkoff, John Hamilton, Robbie Karen, Hani Masood, Trina Nadura, Andre Lewis. We have uh, internship applications that you can uh, apply for at Democracy Now! You can check our website at democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.